So really short video today. Um, what I'm gonna go over real quick is the modification to the tachometer. Now this not only applies to anyone following my steps doing a 2AR, but also doing a third, sorry, a fourth or fifth gen 3S GTE, a 1MZ or anything with coil on plugs where the ECU outputs a low voltage 12 volt signal to power the tack. So let's cut and open this thing up, see what's inside. I'm not gonna go over how to remove this from the car because I don't think it fits in the scope of the video. I recommend Lab Coat Paul's video on installing LEDs in the gauge cluster for a step-by-step -step instructions. Step one, we're gonna take this face off. So then you get this black plate off. Just like that. Now remove these three screws on the back. Right here, this will drop the tack out the front, so support it, get ready for it to fall. Now sometimes you'll get the PCB lifting on the screws. Um, don't let it lift too far, just push down on the PCB. That'll release it from the washer. Now the tack is out. That's all we need from here. Now one very interesting note about this. Um, this is the circuit board. This is actually exactly the same to that which you would find on an MR2 or Avalon, many other things from this era. So it makes sense that they'd reuse it for this application. Now I'll put the diagram up here of the MR2 cluster. And this resistor right here is the one that we need to replace. So in this case, this is a 43 kilo ohm resistor. Um, this varies depending on application. I think it has something to do with the coil pack strength but we need to replace this with about 24 ohms. So I could replace this with a 24 kilo ohm resistor, or I could add a about 60 kilo ohm resistor in parallel. This isn't super critical. It doesn't have to be 100% on the tolerance. There's a pretty wide margin. As long as you're between about 24 and 27 kilo ohms, you should be fine. I'm gonna replace this resistor since I have a bunch laying around. So just right here, 24K. So just like that, install the new resistor, tilt the legs to the side. And solder on. Chop the wires off, flush cutters. that boom mods completely done if you have a gen 4 or 2ar you're done now if you have a v6 you need to change this resistor here since this is an inline 4 i don't need to do that but i'll give you the resistor values right here that's it that's the only mod i needed to do if you're buying wiring from someone and they tell you you need a signal converter you don't if you have the ability to wire in a signal converter, you have the ability to do this. It's just one resistor, it's that simple. And now our tack will work with a low voltage signal. Now I just need to install everything, put it back together, try it out. Now is your last time to get any dust out. So just go through the whole cluster, make sure you didn't leave any dust in, because that will be stuck in there and these are kind of a pain to get out. Well, one of my tabs broke. I think that was from uh, when it popped off a little bit too hard. Um, shouldn't be too big of a deal.
Just like that, that's the whole mod done. Put this back in the car, go drive your RAV4. And here, just to prove that it works, have the battery connected, interior all back together. Perfect. So now we know that it works. One less thing to worry about with this.